Check out the instructor's comments at the end of this video for more info. All right, what we're gonna do here is a quick vid on how to check the oil level in a metric bike. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you're on level ground, got the bike, you know, stationary, level flat. Second thing you're gonna need to do, make sure you got the bike standing upright. You have to have it standing upright vertically, otherwise you're gonna be angled, you're gonna get wrong readings there. Thirdly, you make sure you have a rag with you, be able to wipe off your dipstick, be able to check your right on the amount. So when you unscrew it, pull it out, obviously you're gonna have a wrong reading. You gotta wipe that off, make sure the rag's clean. Wipe it off, double check that you got it wiped clean. Make sure again, it's standing upright and on level ground. Just place it in, set it down for a sec, pull it out, verify your oil level. If you need to, turn around the opposite side, verify your oil level, just to double check it. Obviously, if it's showing halfway, you need to add some. If it's showing over, you need to pull some out. If you're reading nothing, then obviously you need to add a lot of oil. <laughs> well, correction, not a lot of oil. The required amount. You should be able to check that on your in your uh, parts fish or in your service manual. Remember, don't thread it in. Just set it on there. No threads. Pop back out. Double check and verify again. And that'd be it. How to check metric motorcycle. I don't have to say too much here, do I? They did a nice job of this. So what I want to just summarize here is that you need to check your owner's manual. There's no doubt about it. Uh, to say that every possible one in the world was this way. I just don't believe so. I think, I mean, I'm really reaching here, but I think back in college, I saw some older uh, 80s Yamahas, and I think it was a four-wheeler or something, where you did thread it in. All I know is I remember being really surprised by it. Um, regardless, check, uh, check it out for yourself on your own model. But here's what the problem is. If you do it wrong, you're going to have consequences from something either being too low or too high, and, and we talk about that in our other videos. If you like what you see here, uh, hit that little subscribe button. And uh, we're going to try and do some more uh, student-led videos and lessons. Uh, what, I, what I saw from this was just the students' clear understanding on something that was being a little bit of a struggle. So had some fun with it. Hope you uh, are learning yourself and keep on wrenching.